Okay, what I want to talk about today was uh, solar installations. And there's a trend that I see increasingly. Uh, people are getting these installations, there's uh, some huge discounts or rebates from the government, and so you're getting these things put in pretty cheaply. And nothing wrong with that. The problem is, they're not big enough. There's not enough solar power coming out of the panels they're putting in these places to do anything. Uh, I just went to my uh, local utility and they said uh, they have a little solar calculator, you know, and you can calculate how much solar you should have depending on what your bill is. And number one, I don't care what your bill is. You need more solar. You, if you're trying to tie this to your electric bill, uh, it's not going to work out. And I'll explain some of the reasons I have for saying this. But uh, my local utility came up with a number for me. I think uh, I figured I had like a 80 or 90 dollar average bill for electricity alone uh, per month. Okay. They say I should put a 2.4 kilowatt array of solar panels oriented to the south. Uh, that's eight panels. It would maybe take care of a third of my electric bill, maybe. Uh, guys, I have 56 panels, and I'm going to add more. Now, not everybody's got room to do this. I do, so I'm going to take this to the limit. But right now, and, you know, this varies across the country, so take it for what it's worth. My utility pays me like for like. Okay, if I take and produce, by the way, my total array is 18 kilowatts. Okay, so you have an idea. And they want me to put 2.4 kilowatts up. Okay, when I produce more than I use, and I do that quite a bit, in the summer I produce up to 110, that's not an average, but up to 110 kilowatts a day. Uh, probably more average during the summer of like 80 or 90. But anyway, uh, when I produce more power than I use, when in the winter time, and I don't have as much solar, uh, and that reduces quite a bit, then they will give me back the excess that I have. If I, let's say I had 40 kilowatts uh, a day that I used, and I made 80 kilowatts, 40 kilowatts going to bank. Well, yearly, I have a, a bank of around 6,000 kilowatts by the end of, uh, you know, about the middle of fall. And I start eating on that in uh, November, December, January, and then I'm usually back out again in February sometime. Well, that leaves me, I use up about 3,000 kilowatts uh, from my bank during the winter, and I have 3,000 kilowatts left over. Now, I suppose I should talk about that, because I have to give it back every year. Uh, I give it to the to the utility, and they uh, give it to people who can't pay the bill. Well, not everything in my house is powered by solar. I have a natural gas furnace, and uh, most of the time I've had a natural gas water heater. I have had electric, but uh, that's in flux now, too. Well, I'm going to add a heat pump so that I can operate my heat with electricity and I'm going to add an electric water heater heat pump 
uh, so that I could operate entirely off electricity. Okay. So I'll probably eat all that up. But let's look at this little set of panels they want to put in my house. Eight solar panels, 2.4 kilowatts, would do 30% maybe. That's what I said earlier. It's not going to give me anything at all in the wintertime. I'm going to run out right away. And I'm not even, you know, this would be with where I'm at right now. If I had a heat pump uh, and a water heater heat pump, I'm not going to be anywhere close. So this is, this is not sensible, just from that alone. However, what they're going to do in the future is right now they're giving me like for like. So I'm, I'm getting retail for my solar. Nine cents a kilowatt, that's what I get charged. Okay, if I use a kilowatt in the winter, I get, that comes about out of my bank. So it's a, essentially, I get nine cents back. They can't do that forever. The utilities just can't do it. They're going to want to be paying me more like one to two cents, maybe three. Okay, now what do you... What shape are you going to be in with your little 2.4 kW solar array? It's going to be a joke. So it's not going to work. It's Right now, maybe it's fairly good because it gives a little bit back. But uh, eight panels are probably not even going to do that. But So in the future, this is going to change and these... These arrays will be worthless. And so what I'm telling you, when you put in solar, you put in everything you can. You fill up everything you can fill. Uh, I could put, <laughs> i got five acres, so I, I could put, you know, gods and gods of panels. i got plenty of room, but most places... Places don't have that much, but you can do more. Now you say, well, hold it. I only got so much south-facing roof. Okay, the only place you can't put panels is on the north face. You can put panels on the west. You can put them on the east. You know, trees and things make a difference in how many you put wherever. But you can put panels on both those sides. I have one array that is west facing. It produces 80% of the power that my south, uh, south arrays produce. So it's viable. Remember now, solar panels are, they're cheaper than windows. If I go buy windows for my house, I'm going to pay more for the windows than I'll pay for a solar panel. That's not installed. But, uh, so you need to put everything you can in there you know on the roof you know roof's a great place to put them as long as you have a new roof when you start you don't want to put them on an old roof because uh, then they got to be pulled off of the to replace the roof but i want you to think about every place you can put those panels every place that's practical uh, a lot of people have kind of ignored their backyards if you have a large backyard, you can do that too. It's more expensive to install. But you know, one of the things about this type of, of energy saving device, the money goes away pretty fast, but if the panels are still there producing, that's not too bad. The money kind of disappears quick, but the savings from the panels goes on forever. And I encourage you not to look at the numbers, especially the numbers right in front of you. Because those are, are numbers that are primarily designed for payback. 
Payback is going to change. It's going to change a lot. Consider uh, you bought a house 20 years ago. It seemed like a lot of money, didn't it? What does it seem like now? So, <laughs> that's, that's the issue. I'm trying to get across to everyone I can. Put as many panels as is practicable on your property. If you can put them in the backyard, put them in the backyard. If you can put them on the roof, put them on the roof. Uh, one advantage to backyard stuff is if there's snow, it's easier to get snow off of, or if you want to clean the panels, it's easier to do that. Uh, also, uh, we had a recent hail storm here, which trashed my roof. Didn't hurt the panels. Panels are fine, but they had to be removed to replace the roof. And so they're off now. They've been going to be off for six months. So uh, there's an issue there. But uh, get all the panels you can, guys. Uh, if you've got any questions, comments, put them in the comments. Love to hear them. That's it for this one.